with Uncle Reggie. Ah, look at my little girl. <laughs> Dad, did you decide on surgery or radiation for your cancer treatment? I don't know. It didn't help Reggie all that much. I know that was hard. By the time the doctors found Uncle Reggie's cancer, there wasn't much anyone could do. Well, the doctor said something about clinical trials. Why am I just hearing about this now? I recommend clinical trials for patients all the time. It's different. You're a dermatologist. <laughs> it really isn't. Clinical trials are how we find new ways to care for people. It's how treatment gets better. Did you know there are strict guidelines they have to follow to keep patients safe? Everything starts with the clinical trial. Even your fancy auto-focusing eyeglasses. Hey, <laughs> I love these glasses. <laughs> but we're talking about cancer. I'm not gonna be somebody's guinea pig. I hear you, Dad. There are a lot of reasons black people don't trust the healthcare system. There's still a long way to go, but avoiding clinical trials won't solve the problem for us. What problem? Black people have the highest chance of dying from cancer. And yet only 5% of people in clinical trials are black. If we want to be part of the latest breakthroughs, we have to know all of our options. I, I guess I didn't know. Let's talk about it, Dad. If you don't want to do it for yourself, will you at least think about it? For us? All right, let's have a look. Learn more about cancer clinical trials at clinicaltrials.gov or cancer.uillinois.edu. This message was supported by the V Foundation for Cancer Research.